This microphone works with smartphones without any battery, but it doesn't work with the PC. That doesn't make any sense. But now this works on PC without this because I hacked it. So what's going on there? Let's find out. This is the pin layout used on the PC for the input and output audio jacks. It's a 3.5 mm TRS audio jack. TRS stands for tip ring sleeve. In PC, they share the same layout for the input and output audio jack. For instance, if you are using headphones, the tip will be the left channel, the ring will be the right channel, and the sleeve will be the ground. In the case of a stereo microphone, the tip will be the left microphone plus bias voltage, the ring will be the right microphone plus bias voltage, and the sleeve will be the ground. And for more mics, we can use tip and sleeve. Most of the layer mics and the mics that come with the headphones are made up of condenser electric capsules. The working principle of that is entirely different than a dynamic mic. Dynamic mic generates electric signals itself according to the sound pressure that hits its diaphragm, but the electric condenser capsule does not generate electric signals itself. It needs bias voltage for its operation. This is the basic circuit of a condenser electric capsule interface. Here is the bias voltage. In Boya, they are using a LR44 battery for the bias. Here we have a resistor to limit the current and a capacitor to block DC, but pass audio signals because that is AC. It's just one of the properties of a capacitor. And in advanced circuits include a preamplifier too. Simple stuff. Literally, we don't want to care about this because the bias voltage, resistor and coupling capacitor, all this stuff was built in on the sound card of the PC and the smartphone motherboard itself. Just for instance, see from my PC, we got about a approximate 2.2 volt bias on both left and right channels. So we can take the advantage of the bias voltage from the PC to make the microphone battery free. On the Boya, if we slide the switch to the off or smartphone position, we will get direct access to the capsule through the sleeve and the ring. Here, the sleeve is the capsule positive and the ring is the negative. If we slide the switch to the camera position, we get the audio signal from the tip and the second ring. This time, it's using the battery voltage as the bias and using the internal circuitry to throw the output. That's the reason it's not gonna work on PCs without a battery. Stupid idea, isn't it? But clever for riot devices and to waste money on the batteries. Okay, fair enough info, let's do it. In the smartphone or off mode, we get direct access to the capsule. Remember that, right? Here's the plan. Here we're gonna take the capsule terminals from here and wire that to here. So we need a TRRS female socket and a 3.5 mm TRS male jack. And we need one more item, a piece of a shield cable. This thing is specially designed for audio applications and it's finished. Now if we're gonna plug the mic into this socket, the condenser capsule positive will be connected to the red wire and the condenser capsule negative will be connected to the wire shield. And in the other end, the capsule positive goes to the tip and the negative goes to the sleeve. Nothing is going on the ring because it's a mono microphone. For clarification, see it's empty, no battery. Make sure the switch is in the smartphone or the off position because we can access the capsule terminal directly only in that mode. Now I'm gonna plug the microphone, okay. Open Audacity, press record. Now we are recording with Boya by M1. Without battery on my computer. And you know, this entire video voice over with this setup. And everything just works. See, we are recording. You know that I never left I got tracks and some music that you never guessed I don't slack, don't lose, learn your lesson yet When I get to choose what I do, I'm like a weapon I'm as sharp as many, but got hard I'm ready to change scars to envy To win large and plenty I like to play fast, never change fast